55,000 workers, but the very first of them was Christine Bartlett, who was standing by. Christine, I know you're listening, and we're about to come to you. Bartlett versus Terranova is now part of New Zealand's legal history. She was a service and food workers union member on the minimum wage. Terranova were her employer. But what made the case unique was that it was fought on the back of the Equal Pay Act of 1972. Christine Bartlett and the union argued that she was so poorly paid, despite years of experience, because hers was a job predominantly done by women. First, the Employment Court upheld their case, and domino after domino fell until today. Union members have gathered at the Lowe's and Fishers Hall near Parliament, and Christine Bartlett is there on Live View. Christine, it is so lovely to talk to you. How has your day been? I don't know if I can do much talking. My mouth's so sore, I think I've got locked jaw. <laughs> it's been overwhelmingly exciting. <laughs> it's been so exciting, John. Um, oh yeah, it's just unbelievable. I'm on cloud nine. I'm just so happy for all the carers and care supporters that now can live, uh, hopefully out of poverty, and just live a normal life. You know, it's been so tough for them. And, oh yeah, I, it's just been overwhelming, John. Um, I'd just like to thank um, the government for stepping up and coming to this agreement, which is one, I didn't realise it was two billion, but I thought it was half. Um, so that makes it more exciting to hear that as well, yeah. So it's been a pretty busy day from seven o'clock this morning to, I don't even know, oh, it's five o'clock now. I haven't had anything to eat since breakfast. I'm really tired and exhausted, but hey, I'll talk to you all night. You're all wonderful. You have, were the first to support this case, John, and you know, You've just got so much um, love and care within you. Well, well, that's a, lovely, that's a lovely and thing to say, that, but I, ho ho hold on a sec. I didn't go into bat on behalf of a sector uh, with 55,000 workers in it, predominantly women, who were being 20,000 of you doing this tough, important work on the minimum wage. You did. You put your name to that. And at first, because I remember you, it was lonely and you were being vilified and ostracised and no one wanted to talk to you. Even some of your own colleagues were cutting you adrift. Why yeah. did you do You're this? Right. And, 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 and did you ever dream of today? I did this, John, because it had to be done. It was the right thing to do. We could not carry on living on the minimum wage. and Nothing was going to change. It was going to be minimum wage after minimum wage, every year 50 cents increase. Nobody can live on that. And I could see that a lot of people were struggling. And that breaks my heart to think that. And, you know, we were going, we'll go nowhere. So this is why I stood up for it. And after five years of battling, battling, I never gave up hope. The more, as the years went by, John, I had so many more supporters clinging behind me, on the side of me, in front of me. It was wonderful. That's what's kept me strong. All these lovely supporters. The Service and Food Workers Union, my former Service and Food Workers Union, were just absolutely brilliant. Now, Etu, um, all the coalition women groups, um, Judy McGregor, she wasn't yes. here today, unfortunately. I really would have loved to have seen her. Yeah, Christine. Yeah, so it's just been. Yeah, yeah, um, so, been no, it's been an amazing day, but it's been an amazing five years for you. And p part of the negotiating brief included a settlement for you, a private settlement for you, because of course it was you against here and over in the first instance. So we're going to set that aside. But for someone like you, who was on the minimum wage, you have no qualification in this area, but you have 12 years experience, and we hear from everyone that you're fantastic at your job. This would see your rate, or her rate, go from 15.75 to $23.50 an hour, rising to $27 an hour by July 2017. What kind of difference yes. will that make to the lives of people exactly like you? A total life changer. This will be the biggest pay rise we'll ever get, ever. Yes, it, oh, it'll just, as I say, it'll bring them out of poverty, be able to live with dignity. It's just, I, I guarantee a lot of people tonight, that caregivers and care support workers and disability workers, are, are not going to be able to sleep tonight because they're going to be so excited waiting for that first, first check, pay, pay check come in on the first of July I think it is they said so yeah so it's got a lot of people are going to be celebrating tonight or in the weekend yep <laughs>
It's tough work, isn't it? I think, I mean, the minister, you meant, did the minister come and shake your hand earlier? I just, the, the, a photo came beaming in from May here in Arab. Look, we've just whacked the photo up. So the minister came and shook your hand. So that's what you've achieved, right? Yeah, $2 billion from the government. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it was it, Over five years, we should say. It's tough work, but you feel at long last people are being paid what they're worth. And it was so well worth it, wasn't it? Look what's happened after never giving up, never give up, stand tall. Woman all out there, don't ever give in. Go f stand up for your rights, no matter what you do or what you want, you stand up for your rights, because in the end, you can win it. And you did win it. Christine Bartlett, thank you so much for joining us live from Loaves and Fishes. Christine Bartlett v Terra Nova was the case with the Service and Food Workers Union with which this all began.